Okay, problem one. We have the integral of sine of 5x dx. The problem with this is we might not necessarily know what the integral of sine of 5x is, but we do know what the integral of sine x is. And how we can take care of this is we can replace this 5x with some other variable. We'll call it u. So let's let u equal 5x. Now, if I were to substitute that in, I'd have another problem because I'd have the sine of u, but it would still be in terms of x. So I need to find out what dx is. I can do that quite easily by taking the derivative with respect to x of both sides. And then I can solve this for dx, so I know what to plug back in to this equation. So I'll multiply both sides by dx. And I'll divide both sides by 5, leaving me with dx is equal to du divided by 5. Now, I can change everything in my original integral in terms of u. So instead of having the integral of sine of 5x, I'll have the integral of the sine of u. And now instead of having this dx, I'll put in this du over 5, so integral of sine u du divided by 5. Now this one-fifth term, we could try to take the integral right now, but the one-fifth term is a constant multiple. I can bring it out to the front to help myself make it a little bit easier. So I have one-fifth times the integral of sine of u with respect to u. And we know the antiderivative of sine is negative cosine since the or the the derivative of negative cosine is positive sine, so this means that we will get one-fifth times negative cosine of u. And when we take this indefinite integral without limits, we know we get an arbitrary constant in there, and one-fifth times an arbitrary constant is another arbitrary constant, so I have a plus c here at the end. And I have two things left to do. First thing, I need to get this one-fifth multiplied in with this negative cosine, and that's just negative one-fifth cosine of u plus c. And the second thing is I need to get this u back out of the problem. Our original problem was in terms of x, and I have a u in this solution. That's not good. We want things in terms of x still. So I can go back and see that u is equal to 5x, and I can put it back in there so we know that this integral is equal to negative one-fifth cosine of 5x plus c, which means that our answer is choice c.